My name is Jordan Ridley. I'm one of the top five bakers in the world. I have turned around over 30,000 different bakeries. This is Disaster Bakery. We're on our way to Liberated Bakery in Madison, Alabama. When I heard that this lady had started a bakery in a uh, barn that used to be a church, I thought, well, that's going to be a complete disaster. So today was all a buzz and a Twitter. We were so excited. Yeah, we were a little, little nervous and on edge. If I don't come teach them how to do things, they're probably not going to succeed. When he came out, it was a little stressful because we've all watched the show, we love the show. He's an intimidating guy. Okay, ladies, I understand that you have started a bakery in a small, ugly barn. I come in and I turn these bakeries, what the? The guy can't even put it in park and he's gonna tell us how to fix our bakery. I, I seem to think that there might be some issues with your bakery right now. Are you aware of any of the issues that you have in your bakery? No, I actually think we run a pretty tight ship. Uh, the ingredients that you find at our bakery are going to be second to none, so I'd be uh, surprised if you found something. You ready to fix this bakery? Absolutely. Let's do it. It is time to start your first challenge. The challenge is to make bread from scratch in less than four hours. Your time begins now! mix all the ingredients from scratch, weigh it, and put it in our bread pans and bake it. I don't know how far this guy has come in his career, but I think he's pretty much maxed it out. Putting raw dough in his mouth. Are you trying to kill me? Everybody's responding really well um, under pressure. I guess you guys just go a little bit slower down here in Alabama. He is so rude. Some mediocre work over there. Mediocre. That's the standard here. This is what you make me feel like. A disgrace. Listen, I'm done. Just get out. You're on the Titanic, okay? The ship is going down. I think our culture here is pretty much second to none. I'm not really sure why he came to the bakery because everything here runs smoothly and we do everything like we're supposed to. So Jordan continued to, you know, kind of demean us and say that this is a barn, that we're just out in the sticks. But honestly, these things are, we're leveraging. We are out in the country. Uh, we are able to expand. We're able to do things that I think uh, that a lot of companies couldn't. We control everything as well. We make everything here. We don't subcontract um, our baked goods out at all. At one point, we were slicing bread and all of a sudden it just stopped working. They uh, had an issue with the bread slicer machine earlier. Can we get some bread cut, ladies? They seemed to think that it was my hat in there. This is not my hat. They don't know how to manage their own equipment. Um, and that's, that's a travesty. Doesn't even fit me right. Uh, I don't know why I would put my hat in a bread slicing machine. Uh, my hat is on my head next on Disaster Bakeries. It's really hard to work when he's throwing things at Someone us. Take the, trash can. the guy is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I'm out, he's out there. It's starting to ramp up. Eat it! The customer is always wrong. It's your call! What's wrong with the mask? We got a major ghost problem on your hands, ladies. You see that? 